हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी यूनिट नंबर टू एसी सर्किट्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग क्वांटिटीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ करंट मीन्स वॉट एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज मीन्स वॉट ऑल्सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव द एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ करंट फॉर फुल साइकिल फॉर हाफ साइकिल एंड फॉर हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर so i hope you are ready with your pen and paper so without wasting much time let us start this video okay so over here i am going to rub this that same thing we will derive one by one so first of all in your mind one question may arise that uh, sir why we should study that uh, average value of current and average value of voltage because in the previous chapter of dc circuits we didn't discuss about average value of current we are saying that 2 ampere current is there which is coming from the battery but over here why we should study average value so simple answer is there that that is your alternating current alternating current means what that value of current is changing as time passes and in the case of dc current value of current remains constant as time passes so that same thing if i want to explain with the help of wave form so over here i will draw one wave form so that is your sinusoidal wave form that is your uh, i or v you can say that is known as alternating quantities and on x axis i will consider time also we have derived one equation for this wave form for current which is i is equals to im sin omega t in previous video we have derived this equation supposing if you want to find out the value of current at t equals to 1 second so that is suppose 1 second so at 1 second value of current will be suppose 2 ampere at 5 second supposing that is your 5 second at 5 second value of current will be 1 ampere and so on that means alternating current or voltage is variable so that is why we have to study the average value of current and average value of voltage as for example if somebody will say that uh, what is the value of current at t is equals to 10 second so somewhere over here i will say that is your suppose 10 second and at 10 second value of uh, current will be suppose minus 5 ampere so that minus 5 ampere current is known as instantaneous current instantaneous current means what for a particular time value of current is known as instantaneous current yani ki 10 second pe jo bhi current ka value hoga that is known as instantaneous current and for that equation you know very well that i is equals to what dq by dt rate of change uh, flow of charge like that but over here we are not studying instantaneous current we want to study average current average current means what for a particular time period for a particular time period means what supposing over here zero time and supposing over here and uh, i will write t by 2 time over here t time so for certain time period say 0 to t during 0 to t time period what is the value of current that is known as average value of current and for that if i want to write the equation so i average is equals to what q by t that you know very well that uh, q by t means rate of flow of charge q by t okay now in this equation you will find out the value of q and you will find out the value of t and then both you will divide it and you will get the i average ab q ka value kaise dhoonde sir so equation you know very well i is equals to dq by dt i will say dq is equals to i dt then i will integrate it integration of dq is equals to integration of i dt integration of 1 dq is what q integration of i dt so value of q is this So I will insert over here. I average is equals to what integration of I d t divided by. Now this current we have to find out for a certain time period. As I said, it is zero to the t time period. Me, how much current flow is happening? So I will say integration of zero to say t time period. That is the value of t. Zero to the t. Me, how much current flow is happening? That you have to find. So value of t I will insert over here, which is integration of zero to t d t. so with the help of this equation we can find the value of average current so that is the most important equation on the corner i will write it so i average is equals to what is equals to integration of i dt divided by integration of 0 to t what dt 
Similarly, if you want to find out the value of uh, uh, average voltage, so instead of I, what you will do? You will write V. So I will write V average is equals to integration of V dt divided by integration of 0 to T dt. So by using this equation, you can find out the value of V average. Okay. Now, uh, we will discuss case number one. Which one? That we want to find out the value of I average for what? For full cycle. Okay. And remember one thing. I average for full cycle is always zero. Now question may arise. Why? Q zero hota hai full cycle ka? So let us see. So again I will draw one waveform. That is your sinusoidal curve. I is equals to I m sin omega t. That is what? That is your current. And that will be your time. So that is the peak point means over here maximum current will flow plus I am supposing over here value of current is plus 5 ampere and that is your peak point when minimum current is flowing which is minus I am suppose minus 5 ampere okay that is your zero time that is T by 2 that is T time and you have to find out what I average for full cycle that is your full cycle. So it is zero. Why? Because from the diagram you can say that for the half of the time period, that is your half of the time period, value of current remains positive. How much? Plus 5 amperes. And for remaining half of the cycle, value of current remains negative which is minus 5 ampere. So if you want to do the average of both, so plus 5 minus 5, so answer would be zero. So that is your first derivation of I average value. Uh, I average for full cycle is always zero. Now we'll move on with the next. Next is what? That we have to find out the I average value for half cycle. And that question is very much famous. And that may be asked in your university examination. So now that thing we will discuss. What is I average? Average value of current for what? For half cycle. Okay. So I'll make a heading over here. Number two. I average for half cycle okay i average for half cycle and its equation would be 2 by pi i m or you can say 0 0.637 i m that will be the value of i average for half cycle okay so first of all once again we will draw waveform for this so that would be our waveform that is time axis that is current axis that is peak point means i m value would be there Next is 0 time, then T by 2 time, then T time. We want the I average for what? For half cycle. Half cycle means that half cycle I will consider. For this half cycle, I want to find out the I average value. How will find? We have the equation. With the help of this equation, we can find out the I average value. So that equation I will write that I average is equals to what? Integration of I dt divided by integration of 0 to t time. Uh, that is your only dt. Okay. okay. Which is equals to uh, integration of. Now limit is 0 to t. 0 to t. अगर 0 से t ले में लेंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा full cycle का मिल जाएगा हमको ढूंढना कौन सा है 0 से t by 2 तक that is known as half cycle तो मैं limit रख दू 0 से लेके t by 2 i dt divided by integration of now that time limit is how much 0 to t random time period is there कोई हमने समय ऐसे ही ले लिया था अब t की जगह क्या आएगा t by 2 आएगा कोई भी समय आ सकता है यहाँ पे कितना है t by 2 है 0 to t by 2 then d t okay after that what we can do that uh, i average is equals to integration of 0 to t by 2 now you know very well value of current i i is what alternating current i am sin omega t so value of current you will insert over here so that will be your i is equals to what i am sin omega t and multiply with what multiply with dt and divided by what that is the integration of 1 dt now integration of 1 dt is what t so i will write 1 dt integration is t and uh, remits are 0 to t by 2 okay now next i average we are finding i average for half cycle so which is equals to now im is what constant so i will bring outside of the integration 
बिकॉज आई एम से ज्यादा तो करंट बढ़ने वाला नहीं है आई एम देन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ जीरो टू टी बाई टू रिमेनिंग इज वॉट साइन ओमेगा टी डी टी साइन ओमेगा टी डी टी एंड होल डिवाइडेड बाई वॉट अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टी यू विल पुट टी बाई टू माइनस जीरो सो आई विल राइट टी बाय टू ओके I average is equals to I am would be as it is integration of uh, sine omega t is what minus cos omega t minus cos omega t. So it has certain limits. Which limits it has? That is zero to t by two. If it is sine x, then minus cos x. But over here x is what omega t. So you have to divide it with what different uh, integration of this. आपको मालूम है integration का law. इंटीग्रेट हो गया फिर अंदर का जो टर्म है उसको वापस इंटीग्रेट करना पड़ेगा लेकिन डिवाइड में तो ओमेगा विल बी कांस्टेंट सो एज इट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टी इज वन सो डिवाइडेड बाय ओमेगा होल डिवाइडेड बाय व्हाट टी बाय टू ओके सो आई एवरेज इज इक्वल्स टू नाउ व्हाट वी कैन डू माइनस साइन आई विल मेक आउटसाइड आई एम इन टू द्रैकेट कॉस ओमेगा टी लिमिट आर जीरो टू टी बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाय दैट ओमेगा Will be what? That will be your uh, t omega by two. Okay. Acha. Uh, next, what we can do? I average is equals to minus I m upper limit minus lower limit. So that will be your cos omega t by two minus lower limit cos omega t is zero divided by. Okay, divided by now the value of t you know very well t is equals to what two pi by omega. So we'll insert the value of t two pi by omega. So t is equals to two pi by sorry omega is equals to two pi by t. That value we'll insert instead of t. So omega is equals to what? Omega is equals to two pi by t. So instead of for this we'll write minus i m. Then uh, cos omega means what? Two pi by t multiply with what? T by two minus cos zero that will be multiply with omega zero so cos zero whole divided by that is T omega T omega is what two pi by T uh, multiply with one half that is remaining one half okay now we'll proceed further so I average is equals to what minus I m minus I m then into the bracket. That is your t t will get cancelled. Two two will get cancelled. So remaining is cos pi minus minus cos zero. So I'll write cos zero okay. divided by that is t t will get cancelled. Two two will get cancelled. Remaining is pi. So I will write i average is equals to minus i m. Now value of cos pi you know very well minus one. Value of cos zero is what one. So minus sign minus divided by pi. So I average is equals to what minus I m that is your minus two divided by pi. So I average is equals to minus minus plus. So I can write two by pi I m. Further, if you will solve, then I average is equals to what two by pi zero point six three seven I m. So that will be your answer. Average value, average value for current. In the case of what half cycle is, I average is equals to zero point six three seven I m. Okay. Now we'll go for the last case. So that is important equation. That equation I will note down over here. Which one? Uh, okay, doesn't matter. I will not rub it. Next third case. Third case we'll discuss, which is very much easy after this derivation. And third case is what? third case is we have to find out the value of i average for half wave rectifier so third one is i average for what i average for half wave rectifier okay now half wave rectifier if i want to draw its wave diagram so that will be your time axis that is be your current axis half wave rectifier would be like that mm properly i will draw current axis time axis like that like this 
so that is your half wave rectifier half wave rectifier means what whatever lower portion of the wave is there that is removed rectify kar diya isko yahan se jo lower portion tha usko nikal diya that means that is known as half wave rectifier so for that purpose you have to remember one equation what that i average for half a wave rectifier is equals to one half of i average for half cycle that equation you have to remember i average half rectifier ka jo bhi hota hai wo kiska kiska aadha hota hai wo kiska aadha hota hai iska aadha hota hai kiska i average for half cycle to likh de yahan pe i average for rectifier kya 1/2 into kya tha ye 2 by pi i m 2 से 2 कैंसिल सो ये हो गया 1 बाई पाई आई एम और 1 बाई पाई का वैल्यू है 0.318 पॉइंट थ्री वन एट आई एम सो दैट इज योर आई एवरेज फॉर हाफ वेव रेक्टीफायर नाउ रिमेंबर वन थिंग दीज वैल्यूज फॉर हाफ साइकिल एंड फॉर हाफ वेव रेक्टीफायर एंड फॉर फुल साइकिल दैट इज ओनली वैलिड फॉर द साइनोसोडियल वेव दैट इज वैलिड ओनली when your wave is like this and that is valid only when your equation is i is equals to i m sin omega t but if wave form is like that square wave form then this our values are incorrect so similarly you can find out the value of uh, v average for half wave full wave and full wave rectifier by using which equation by using which equation v average is equals to what integration of v dt divided by integration of 0 to t dt so now i would like to end this video so till then read hard work hard thank you very much